Bumbi Bubble Beep. Hello everyone and welcome back to another space weather update. My name is Alexis of Ascension Diaries and this is created in collaboration with One Foot in 5D and it is their special Space Force News one year anniversary. Congratulations and thank you again for collaborating with me on this project. So let's look at the space weather. We are currently in a full moon in Aquarius. So if you're feeling extra weird and crazy and emotional, it's okay, you're just a werewolf. So let's look at the sun next. Over the last five days, we had coronal mass ejections that I'd like to quickly show you here on the 19th or 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st and 22nd. The 20th, which you just saw, was a superstar this last week, but we have had since a few more expulsions that we I wanted to note to you. In the predictive model, though, they're only seeming to follow the CME that happened on the 20th and its trajectory, which looks like it is going towards, again, Mars and Mercury. We are this little yellow dot on the right, and we are doing a lot better than those planets in regards to space weather impact this next week. But we have seen during those CMEs over the last two days especially, the x-ray radiation get to a C-class, which means that there were solar flares up into that area of C-class, which is not the highest class, but one to note for sure. That's when things start getting orange. If you can see right here on the Space Weather Live resource that I like, solar flares are important and they usually do happen and then the CMEs follow suit. CMEs can happen without a huge flare, but fl when flares happen, those CMEs tend to follow. The spaceweather.com prediction is that we're going to be having a lot of solar wind on the 25th so this coming Wednesday just check on your body see if you're having a little bit of soreness pick up your use of minerals and keep yourself hydrated so you can work that solar wind through your body easier and we're also being pointed to an active sunspot that's going to be turning towards us very soon in this coming week and potentially produce more flares. Another note I'd like to make quickly is that there seems to be earthquake activity right now and this is being recorded at around 3 18 p.m pacific standard time at least so perhaps tonight this data won't be available to look at later but right now i'm seeing that there seems to be global earthquake activity registering because these charts at least the ones that are on here are all over the world. They measure areas all over the world. And so I'm seeing things in the Caribbean, I'm seeing things in China and Russia, but it's all around the same time period, which is interesting. So if you'd like to keep up with earthquakes more as well, I'd recommend you follow Dutch Sense on YouTube for that because I'm still learning as well. And if you would like any of the links I mentioned tonight, please just go to my link tree, hit up the space weather links area and pick your favorite and keep up with the research. And until next week, I'll see you then.